Hockey fans, what do you like? What intrigues you? What are some of the things you're really interested in? A lot of people are trying to figure out the answers to those questions. And I ask you this because somebody recently said something about hockey fans that was, well, shocking to me. NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman recently said, and I quote, A cap geek site isn't something that seems to be driving fan interest as much as perhaps the interest of people in the media. <laughs> what? Um... No. You know how sometimes people say things and then you get all mad like, what? Sometimes I hear something that I find so wrong, I don't even get upset. Like it's more of a fascination, like rather than just get upset, I just kinda go, huh. With what happened this past summer with NHL teams just scooping up bloggers, the blogging community took a hit. Don't get me wrong, it's still going strong, but a lot of the best ones couldn't write anymore. And because the Toronto Maple Leafs bought it, we lost Extraskater.com, probably the best analytics site out there. But with all due respect to those bloggers and those sites that I respect very, very much, it pales in comparison to how much fans miss CapGeek.com. Fans love CapGeek because fans love information. Because fans, real fans, want to be as close to the game as possible. Didn't NHL.com just add a whole pile of new stats to the website? Just out of curiosity, why do you think that is? Just to keep the people who run the site busy? Well, we're paying them, might as well make them do something. No, it's because after years of growing interest, it became very obvious that fans wanted to know more about analytics. Because fans Fans want to know stuff. And look, look, screw analytics. Forget all that. Because I know a lot of you right now are going, who cares? I don't believe in that stuff. You still watch and you listen to analysts break down plays and oh, here's why this guy's doing well. And you watch and you go, oh. And then someone points out, look for the coach to make this change and you go, oh. That's all knowledge that you stuff into your brain. And then the next time you're talking to your hockey fan friends, you let it tumble out of your head and you show them how smart you are. If fans actually don't care about their favorite player's contracts, their salaries, the team they cheer for is cap situation, then we're screwed as an entire industry. I tell you what, I'm gonna stop video blogging. I'm just gonna stop talking about hockey because apparently no one cares. And while we're at it, let's just tear down sportsnet.ca. Let's get rid of it all. Especially all the goals, assists, points. No one cares about any of that. And better yet, why not have every hockey-related website, radio station, and TV channel just shut down? And better yet, you know what? Let's just cancel all the trade deadline coverage. Like, you check any hockey website, Twitter, you get a little bling on your phone every time time an NHL trade or signing happens, what's the first thing they mention after the person's name? The blank have signed blank to a blank year, blank million dollar contract. You mention the team, player, money, and term, because you know why? Fans care. And if they don't, apparently it's been a huge waste of time. Maybe this guy got traded to this team, and this guy got traded to this team, but wait, I don't think, how does this match up? Oh, well you see, it's because of the salary cap. No, 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 it's just the salary cap. I'm a fan, I don't care. So you know what, every reporter and in Insider, working the trade deadline and even the draft and free agency, stop working so hard. Staying up 25 hours a day for two weeks straight, phone glued to your head, hey can you give me some information? Don't worry about that, no one wants to know any information. The night before I made this video, I sent out a tweet saying, retweet this if you miss CapGeek. At the time I'm recording this, less than 24 hours later, there have been about 3200 retweets. You can find a link to that tweet underneath this video if you would like to make that number bigger. There's been like lockouts over this stuff, so I think fans care a little bit about CapGeek. I mean, if CapGeek is so unimportant, why are bloggers openly tweeting about creating the next CapGeek? It's like a blog arm race, a blog race. In fact, there is a site right now, NHLNumbers.com. If you go there, click on any of the team emblems, it will tell you all the team's cap situations. It's not quite as thorough as CapGeek was, but they're working on it. And that website, and any website that has all the information that CapGeek had, is gonna get a bajillion quadrillion hits. Because fans care. Or do they? You let me know.